thank you so much for watching another sketchbook tour video. I'm really excited about today because today's video is my first video back after having my baby, uh, who is the cutest little man ever. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited to be making videos and having a little bit of time to make art and just be creative again because my soul has been needing it. I swear it has. So I'm super excited to be back again. Uh, I hope you guys are still sticking around because it has been probably about two months since I uploaded a video, which is ages. That is crazy. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about today's piece that I was uh, that I painted that you're watching. I am using the same paper that I used when I in my last sketchbook session, uh, which is a pretty crappy paper. It's low in cotton. It's, yeah, it's pretty crap paper. But um, in using the gouache today, uh, I noticed that it actually wasn't uh, too bad. So I'll be able to use these sketchbooks and continue uh, to fill them up and not waste them um, using gouache. But I definitely won't buy them again. I can't remember what they're called. I'm pretty sure they're like A Spectrum or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll put the spe sketchbook below so you don't buy it ever. Next time uh, when I approach this piece, I'll probably start with like a light wash just to fill in and get rid of some of the negative space in uh, the man that I'm painting just so that it's not just this big white area and it doesn't seem so hard to fill it in, which is what I normally do when I approach my large scale paintings as well. So I started with a light sketch and then after I worked out where uh, I wanted the sketch to be on the paper to make it visually appealing uh, in like a small A4 piece of paper. Um, I went through and also uh, went over it with a dark, uh, darker pencil and then erased the lighter uh, lines so that they weren't there and I could get started on my painting. Uh, so I started this piece by blocking in uh, the different values of uh, with blue. Uh, in this piece I use only Prussian blue which is my favourite, my most favourite blue ever. I think it is the most beautiful colour of blue. I did mix all the colours at the start um, but I decided yeah just to only use blue after putting all those bits of paint out. <laughs> but at least with gouache like you can reactivate it so they won't go to waste which is also something that I really love about gouache because I think this is probably like, the first time I've used gouache or apart from using um, white gouache uh, in highlights on uh, Inktober pieces and that so I, I don't remember using gouache apart from uh, this piece but I am definitely going to be using gouache again because I seriously enjoy painting this today. Uh, as I continue the piece uh, more white uh, is being blocked out and the values um, are being established in the painting uh, and then after I filled in um, all of the white in his, in the, his back um, I start revisiting the areas that I've already painted uh, because once you fill in that white it's sort of like it changes uh, yeah you need to just revisit and like pop out uh, areas that looked dark before when the white was there but once that white's disappeared um, they really don't look that dark and there's not much contrast to the piece in the different areas so um, and I find this like a lot of the time with my paintings um, and I've heard other artists talk about it as well so I can continue just to sort of like play around with the piece and just work out like his muscles and just keep molding and shaping his back and I do this with all my pieces like I'll just keep like working the whole piece I don't like work sections by sections like I know a lot of artists do but yeah it's just not my jam not my jam at all I just sort of like to wishy-washy about all over the place uh, not very organized in life and also not very organized when it comes to approaching a painting I just sort of go for it and just let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> um, yeah, although I will say since having a baby, I've got a lot more organized in life. Obviously not painting. Uh, so I'm, today I'm using a photo that I found on Pinterest. Uh, it was an absolutely beautiful photo. Uh, I found so many nice uh, photos on Pinterest that I'm really excited to paint. Obviously just to use um, as little sketchbook studies and just to yeah practice uh, quite a few things uh, in my sketchbook. Uh, on Pinterest, I do have it saved uh, in uh, my sketchbook folder. So if you guys want to go check it out or like follow me on Pinterest so that you guys can have a look at some of the photos that are saved uh, in my sketchbook folder and have a go at them, uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, and I also decided to come in with some Prismacolor blue colored pencils. I think I just used one or two shades and yeah, I actually really enjoyed this. Um, I felt it gave it like a little bit more definition uh, to his back and to the piece. And honestly, like, it's just experimenting and just having fun. I haven't done a lot with colored pencils except for uh, I started using them a little bit in my Inktober pieces. So, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying just playing around and it kind of feels like I'm a kid again, just using different uh, mediums and 
yeah, just having fun, really, which is what sketchbooks are supposed to be about. But yeah, in my art career, um, I've done a lot of uh, pieces, like when I have done art, it's never normally like just for myself, like uh, I approach, I, I always do uh, paintings or like things that are eventually going to be put into my shop uh, to be sold or something like that. So um, I think I, my soul really needed uh, to be using a sketchbook like ages ago, so long ago, uh, but I never did. I'm not really sure why, uh, but yeah, I'm really glad that I picked up uh, using a sketchbook now. Uh, thank God, because it was just really fun to experiment and just have fun and like no expectations on the piece. Like I know I film it, but like if it turns out like really crappy or I just hate it or I don't feel like it or you know scrunch that piece of paper off, <laughs> um, you know like there's no pressure. Like I just don't put up a video. Like it's it's not a big deal. So uh, I don't even know when I'll get back into like my normal paintings or reopening my shop. I'm not sure yet. So but. I did mention just uh, a little bit ago. Uh, so I did I did have a baby. Uh, he's a month and two days old now, which is so crazy because it feels like I literally just had him like yesterday, which it's like blows my mind. Time is just flying by, which is so scary because I don't want him to get old. I just want him to stay small and cute and mine forever. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been uh, quite a long time since I have painted, oh, except uh, my first sketchbook session that I filmed. Oh, that you're watching. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> mum brain. Um, yeah, so I don't have a lot of time at the moment, so these little sketchbook entries are like the perfect, perfect outlet because they don't take a long time, um, you know, like I can just sort of like pop them in uh, when he's having a nap and yeah, just have a bit of fun and still like have that creative outlet. Um, whereas like my big paintings, like, you know, you have to put out like acrylic paint and you know, if, I've, if he starts crying or like gets upset and I have to come in, you know, like paint will probably dry most likely because it's still summer in Australia so yeah these little pieces using gouache or like watercolor like honestly is so good right now so I think I shall be sticking to these smaller pieces uh, for quite a while I would say so my sketchbook goals this year um, is going to be continue to experiment uh, that is like a huge one for me like I just need to keep experimenting and having fun and trying things so I really want to continue to experiment um, and practice more figurative work uh, like the piece that you're watching today I really want to get better um, yeah just at figures and um, poses and also portraits so like uh, people's faces um, and also like just practicing like singularly by themselves like noses ears eyes mouths and that sort of thing um, so I know that's quite a lot but yeah so I do want to practice all all that as well um, and something else I need to do is to practice sketching more um, like I know this is painting today uh, but because I never really used a sketchbook much until like starting to get into Inktober last year um, my sketching I don't really have much of a style when it comes to sketching or using the inks or gouache or watercolors uh, because I've always just used acrylic and never really sketched much just painted um, and because I've done that yeah I don't really have much of a style when it comes to using these mediums like I have a style when it comes to my painting um, but yeah not much when it comes to using these uh, other mediums on smaller pieces so I'm really excited to, to keep uh, experimenting and see how that goes and see like my style develop uh, using these mediums over the year so really excited about that um, if you guys have any 2020 goals um, I'd be really curious to hear them I'd curious to see if like a lot of our goals are line up or if you guys have been a good artist and actually used a sketchbook for quite a while maybe your goals might be a little bit more um, uh, higher than mine <laughs> mine uh, I feel like they're quite basic but gonna yeah cover those bases and get better at the basic things so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for sticking around uh, and watching another video of mine even though I've been gone for so long I shall be back to um, one video upload a week on Fridays. I have about six videos banked up, ready to roll. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!